We're so pleased to uh, welcome again. Uh, she's been very uh, giving of her time to our riding and we really appreciate that. Uh, Ontario's Minister of Heritage, Tourism, Culture and Sport Industries, or Sport and Culture Industries, um, to come back to uh, Leeds Granville. Uh, we love to have the Honourable Lisa McLeod uh, tour and we just had her uh, on a, a short tour with uh, Captain Andy along the Brockville side uh, of the islands. She has made it her mission. Uh, to tour our province. She is without a doubt one of the hardest working, if not the hard, hardest working minister as she tours not just the province but all of the stakeholders within the many uh, areas of her ministry. She's a, a passionate advocate uh, for the arts and for culture, for tourism and for sport. She's been incredibly busy uh, during the pandemic and she has been crisscrossing the province over the last uh, several weeks uh, promoting uh, all the great things that are available in Ontario. This time last year the, the beaches would be full, um, that the boat cruises would be hard to get on because they would be at capacity. Uh, and I think Catherine would tell you that uh, your restaurants and your hotels um, would be uh, coveted. But that's not the case this year. This has been a really, really difficult year for us. Obviously we know we're dealing with a public health crisis and Ontarians have done their part to stay safe, stay six feet apart, to wear their mask and to sanitize their hands. And then we dealt with an economic crisis, which we're still dealing with, with people losing hundreds of thousands of jobs across this province as a result of the shutdowns. And now we're dealing with the social crisis. After four and a half months of us being very successful telling people to stay at home and quarantine or self-isolate, we're now encouraging them as the, as the economy starts to gradually and slowly reopen to get back to their old consumer habits. As I often say, and Minister Clark often teases me, we have a spectacular double bottom line. The first is we promote and preserve the unique cultural fabric of the province of Ontario, which is important that I'm at a museum today. And the second thing is we drive jobs. And we have taken a big hit because of that triple threat we were talking about. So as such, I wanted to make sure and, and, and revisit this community to not only say that we're going to be investing in hyper-local marketing as we did a few, month, a few weeks ago, but that today we are going to continue to invest in your cultural and tourism attractions. So today I'm here to announce $500,000 for this community so that when you safely reopen to the public, you're able to do so without the worry of how these cultural institutions and tourism attractions will be able to pay their bills. We recognize that in 18 months from now, after we have found a vaccine and Ontarians have been vaccinated and we have contained the spread of COVID-19, that we want these institutions to thrive and succeed. We recognize these have been challenging times and it could be very easy for people to look at our sectors, at the Ministry of Heritage, Sport, Tourism and Culture Industries and say, you know what, they've been closed for four months or that festival isn't proceeding so we can save money. I actually look at it in the contrary. Our job as a government is to preserve and protect what matters most, and that is what makes our community special. We could not have had a better champion um, to head up tourism, sport, culture, industries, and I've got it wrong, I apologize, um, during this pandemic. I mean, what her and her staff have done is phenomenal. Um, and now the fact that she's traveling the province safely and encouraging people to get back into attractions and out into the restaurants is just, it's uh, you know, wonderful to say the least. But um, yeah, we couldn't have asked for a better person to uh, head up our ministry at this time and we hope she stays with us for quite a long time. Look in your own backyard and think about what you can do 10 minutes from your house. That's not too hard. It might be going for a hike and then going to your local ice cream shop. And then it might be picking up your kids and coming down to the dock and going to a patio. And you can find these little excursions pretty much anywhere in Ontario, but you have an embarrassment of riches here in the Thousand Islands.